Hi everyone, it's Mitch. It's, it's Wednesday, uh, December 10th. We're 10 days away from our next college football game. And, uh, you know, I, I haven't stopped working. I, I just keep, you know, digging into these into these bowl games. I didn't really try and nail them down. I always like to finish the season on a high note. I used to have a pretty good record throughout the bowls. Not perfect. T- tough things to uh, look for, you know, kind of. It gives the time for injuries to heal for the coaches a game plan. A lot of things that we talked about yesterday. Um, you know, where I'm at now is I'm kind of just looking still at, at each team individually on its own and, and where they really sit. And, uh, you know, as, as you might have read already in today's blog post, I'm finding out some interesting things about this year's bowl participants and that we just seem to have more six and six teams than, than even last year. And it's, you know, this it's just a sad state of the game. Um, you know, the bowls are, you know, one of the big arguments was about the tradition and rewarding teams for, for a good season. And the bowls no longer do that. They're, they've become what they are. And that's just, you know, a, a place for uh, corporations to slap their logo and for the NCAA to charge them for it. Um, teams like Notre Dame, they, they're six and six. They lose this ball game to Hawaii, where where their their uh, you know the odds makers have them losing. They're six and seven on the season. A team like Memphis, they're six and six going into the ball game. One of those six wins was against Nickel State, who's a one double A team. They're not alone in that. Clemson University is playing in a New Year's Day bowl game. Two of their wins are against one double A opponents. You take away those, they're five and five. Um, you know, one of the few teams that played uh, two one double A opponents. Another one of those teams, though, Texas Tech. Imagine this: Texas Tech, if they um, you know would have beaten Oklahoma, they would have been playing for the national championship with really only ten legitimate wins. But everybody else, even with a loss, would have eleven. So at this point, Texas Texas Tech, they they only have. Uh, they they have ten legitimate wins. We'll, we'll give them when everybody else has eleven. So if people think that you know they kind of got were the odd man out in that mix in the BCS. Well, maybe that's one of the things that the BCS might have gotten right was because you know Texas Tech they played UMass and they played um, you know um, Eastern Washington. Well, Washington and Washington State didn't stink enough to to give you your cupcake opponent. Um, you know it just goes on and on and on. South Carolina, they play Wofford all the time. Everybody knows it. But, you know, South Carolina, once again, 7-5. and five, That would have put them at 6-5 and five against, you know, 1-18s, which are the only games that should count. And then, um, you know, they're playing in a New Year's Day bowl game at 6-5. and five. That's, you know, one of the problems with bowl tie-ins. It's like we're worried about, like, Boise not getting into a BCS game, which stinks. You know, meanwhile, it's like, you know, some of these teams, that they beat nobody. You know, are are getting into New Year's Day bowl games, which used to be reserved for you know some of the all-time great teams. You know, the Rose Bowl talks about you know the tradition, and, and they try and keep it the best that they can. But it's presented by City, who uh, right weren't they bailed out by the country? So isn't it presented by the USA, just like me and you? You know, why can't we slap our logo on it since we're paying for it anyway? In any event, this is Mitch. Talking some college football, it's craziness out there this year. If you guys want to take a look at the video today, today it's a real hoot. Um, I don't usually say too much about it, but today's is uh, sent in by one of our readers and uh, extra funny stuff. This is Mitch. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the forum. We're talking uh, NFL football. We're talking basketball, college basketball, all that stuff. Just getting ready for the opening of our college basketball site, our pro football site, our NBA site our Major League Baseball site. It's going to be all of our sites, just like this place is. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the forum, and maybe tomorrow night we'll just do a pro uh, NFL chat during the Bears-Saints game just for the heck of it. Uh, Have a great day.